I ran track for all four years of high school. Two seasons for four years, and I hated every moment of it. It was nothing that I enjoyed, and until this day, I can't figure out why I didn't just quit. I especially didn't like being nervous, show. It was miserable. I do not have an iron gut, and this might be TMI, but, but it was a real uh, bubbly situation, if you know what I'm saying. I'll tell you, though, I'll tell you, one thing that came out of it is that ever since I can go anywhere at any time in complete comfort, okay, that was definitely TMI, but the point is, I hate being nervous. Yet and still, I chose to chase a passion that involves getting on a stage in front of people on a regular basis, risking ridicule and judgment. Now, I'll, I'll save the rest of that for therapy, but I'm intrigued by this conundrum. If there is no nervousness, I've noticed, there's no excitement. Now, I'm not talking about track. I mean, that, that, that's beyond redemption. I'm talking about something that my wife and I speak of regularly. It gets boring as hell in your comfort zone, but if you stretch beyond it, wherever you land becomes your new comfort zone. Ain't no turning back. It's a, a constant leveling up. And for me, if I'm doing it right, that also means a constant state of nervousness. A few years ago, out of almost nowhere, I decided that I wanted to go on tour in London. I had no idea how I was going to make it come together. I don't know where the money was going to come from, the contacts, any of that. All I knew was I wanted to make it happen, and I did. Three of the members of my band headed over with me, Ish, Kelly Greenlight, and Jehudi Sun. Yo, it was, it was beautiful. Now, we were definitely underdressed. For some reason, I don't know, we figured July would mean summer heat. What you say to? No, And Top Boy wasn't out yet, so we didn't know about estate houses when we booked our Airbnb, but those were charming lessons learned along the way. of solving the problems of the months leading up to the trip kept my mind too busy to realize what should have been obvious. Yo, I would have to perform. And when I realized this, I felt the rumble. This isn't about stage fright. It's really more like, yo, you came all this way. You cannot be whack. You cannot shrink. You can't hide. And most of all, again, you cannot be whack. The crowd packed itself into the venue. Yo, my mouth was dry, my throat was tight, my stomach was in knots, I couldn't sit still, but if I stood up, I got dizzy. So I decided I should go get uh, stage ready. Yeah. As I'm in there releasing my nerves, I hear the band start to play the intro song. Yo, already? So I take a labored breath, wash my hands, and get ready for my grand entrance. <laughs> rarely last past the first verse. By then, I usually settle into the moment. And that night, as I was settling, I knew my comfort zone had been expanded. I felt it. And it felt right. This video is being released on June 30th, 2023. That is the day that the job that I quit comes to a formal end. That is the day that I step forward and stand on my skills and talents to provide for my family. And yo, I'm nervous as hell. Not nervous like being on a track. Nervous like being backstage in London. Yo, I know I'm about to smash it down, but I have no idea what's coming next. I just pray that I settle into the verse and enjoy the moment. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm feeling a bit of a rumble. <laughs> hey, thank you for rocking with me.